So this week, nothing much has happened. Okay, bye. No, I'm just kidding. Now the most exciting thing that happened this week is, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's update is 13 week update and I have great news for you today because we have the fruit for the first time, I feel like. I actually have the fruit and baby's the size of a little peach. Let's go ahead and start with this video. So if you guys are new here, this is my third baby. I'm a mom of two little kiddos. I have a three-year-old and a two-year-old. I have a boy and a girl already. This baby, we just found out the gender last week. So if you wanna see that update, I'll put it up in the cards and link it down below. We know the gender. I haven't revealed it in the realm of YouTube yet, but I will definitely be doing that. There's tons and tons of fun pregnancy content coming your way so be sure to subscribe for that and also true to my name i'm all about being frugal having a frugal pregnancy frugal baby years and just being as minimal as possible with all those things so if all that sounds great to you please be sure to subscribe i have tons of stuff already on my channel and there's lots more coming your way like things i'm not using in pregnancy dressing the bump which i'll be talking about a little bit in this video so yeah guys please be sure to subscribe to my channel and let's go ahead and start with this video well first you don't need to tell me to clean up oh okay can you clean up so this week, nothing much has happened. Okay, bye. No, I'm just kidding. So I was told that I have anemia and to supplement with ferrosulfate, an iron supplement. And so I have implemented that and it did help me a little bit with my energy levels. And I'm hoping it's just gonna keep going in that direction. I definitely do need more energy. We're almost at the end of the first trimester. By the way, first trimester vlog is coming soon. So be sure to check that one out. Click the subscribe button and then the bell notification then you guys will be notified when that goes live I'm uh, this pregnancy gonna be counting 14 weeks as the official start of the second trimester just because first trimester goes by very quickly usually and second trimester and third trimester kind of seem to drag on so at least in my mind I want to have like more <laughs> in the first trimester more weeks in the first trimester and kind of less in the other two so that's why 14 weeks is gonna be my official second trimester start. So I've been doing iron supplementation and that's really been helping and I'm gonna continue doing that as per my doctor's instructions and recommendations. So I have this week continued on with pregnancy insomnia doesn't seem to be going away anywhere. I have felt a little bit of relief from uh, vomiting this week, although my nausea is still really, really insane. But at least I haven't been like throwing up uh, as much. But yeah, this pregnancy has definitely been the craziest one in terms of like actual vomiting. I have never had anything even remotely like this with my other pregnancies. I was diagnosed with hyperemesis gravidarum. I'll put those updates uh, up in the cards and also down below because I talked about that a little bit more in detail, how that all happened. This week I've definitely felt a little bit better in terms of vomiting and I'm hoping once second trimester kind of hits I'm gonna feel better and I'm also hoping for a little bit more energy. But what I have been doing is tons of cleaning, organizing, and kind of starting to declutter a little bit my space because it has definitely like piled up everything because the first trimester I was barely surviving. So now I'm kind of getting back into the groove of things and kind of starting to keep up with my regular cleaning, decluttering, organizing routine. So great news and in the spirit of my frugal life, I never ever ever buy any maternity clothing. What I do is just wear my regular clothing. So what I normally wear is a lot of kind of loose fitting uh, dresses and they do fit me through pregnancy. So I've never had to buy any kind of special like maternity dresses. If something is a little bit too tight, then I just kind of stop wearing it and wear other stuff that's kind of more loose fitting. I've never had an issue of something like not fitting me and me like needing a completely new wardrobe 
wardrobe in pregnancy, which is really lucky. In terms of pants, also, I always find that uh, my leggings that I wear and my gym clothes, like gym pants, always fit my bump, even like in the third trimester. So I think I've been lucky with that because maybe if I was like size extra small or something, maybe then it wouldn't fit me. But yeah, my size, like it fits me just fine throughout pregnancy. So yeah, so I haven't been needing to buy any clothes, nothing special for pregnancy. I I haven't really bought anything for myself in any of my pregnancies really no pregnancy pillows nothing like that like I like to keep it really really minimal and be as frugal as possible with these things like if I need to kind of hug something and put something near my belly I just use a regular uh, like smaller pillow and I already have those so I don't need to like repurchase anything or buy anything special by the way a video on my uh, dressing the bump is coming up shortly so be sure to subscribe and click the bell notification so you guys see that come live also I want to do it more into like second trimester kind of when my bump is a little bit bigger and more noticeable maybe like around 20 weeks or so maybe a little bit like past 20 weeks I think would be ideal because <laughs> then I actually have like a significant bump now the most exciting thing that happened this week is I have felt the baby move I've definitely felt some tiny little kicks it's so crazy because it's so early on and I did bring it up with my OB but she said uh, this is just what happens when this isn't your first pregnancy you start feeling earlier and your earlier kicks with subsequent pregnancies and that's definitely what's happening because it's like 13 weeks and I've already felt definitely little baby kicks and fluttering and stuff like that which is so exciting it's like my favorite part of pregnancy I'm super super excited about that it's just my way of connecting with the babies kind of on like the physical level is definitely when the baby kicks and that's when I feel like okay we're both awake and we're kind of like hanging out together you know one of my favorite parts of pregnancy and then my second favorite part is definitely planning stuff and I'm definitely starting to like plan things out more uh, for example what needs to happen for my kids so my younger one there's definitely a lot of changes coming his way and I'm just trying to plan out how I'm gonna carry all this out like completely weaning him for example since he's still uh, nursing and nursing through the night and he needs to be weaned at least for the most part so I'm working on that very slowly the second thing is that he needs to move into a different room so that's another thing I'm trying to plan out kind of for him and then I'm also planning like when am I gonna make freezer meals and stuff like that I know it's super early on but I just love planning <laughs> like it's like my favorite part of everything is just planning everything out and having like a nice idea so yeah I'm definitely in the planning phase and kind of thinking about uh, what needs to happen and speaking of planning there's tons and tons of pregnancy content planned out for you guys so be sure to subscribe click the bell notification and also give this video a like this really helps out my channel speaking of my channel I recently reached 1000 subscribers so I'm very happy about that and thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and keeping up with uh, me and with my journey and I'm so happy to share everything that I know and everything that I do and just how I do things in hopes that it will help somebody and uh, yeah thank you so much guys and I'll probably do a special like a thousand subscriber video but I just wanted to say thank you so much I really really appreciate it it completely made my day I have been like slowly kind of inching towards this and uh, just this pregnancy and reaching this like milestone has definitely given me motivation and kind of like a little push uh, to just keep going and keep pursuing this and just yeah like this is my creative outlet and my uh, kind of where I pour out a lot of my like parenting and just life knowledge and uh, yeah I hope to make this channel as best as I can for you guys so thank you so much and I'll see you guys in my next video bye